We are finally diving into ranked seasons, and the first showcase or debut will be around a card I've actually used quite a bit so far in Battle Royale. He is my favorite player in MLB history. Growing up in New Jersey, you know, born in the late 90s, Derek Jeter's rise was mid to late 90s into the 2000s. He was the man. I mean, no other way around it. I know post-retirement near the end of his career, a lot of stuff has come up about, you know, his defensive range and DRS and all that. But uh, let me tell you, it was not really much of a thought for uh, me growing up. He was the best. And this card is unbelievable. He's already parallel four for me. Which if you don't really know about MLB The Show too much, they introduced a new thing. I think it was last year or two years ago. I think it was two years ago. Where you can use a card and upgrade them. Plus one for every a different amount of XP. And Derek Jeter, parallel four here, looks unbelievable for me. 94 speed, 91 stealing, 91 reaction, 99 arm, 99 reaction. Contact is maxed out at 125. Power is 97 against righties, 113 against, against lefties, 102 vision with 125 maxed out clutch. Now, I am using Aaron Judge in right field, the Yankees team captain. So with Derek Jeter, I also get plus 5 power right, plus 10 power left, and plus 10 arm strength. Minus 5 plate vision is something we can live with. And I'm eventually going to run a full Yankees team. Wanted to mix it a little, uh, it up a little bit for today before we do that. Nolan Arenado is supercharged. J-Ram is like a channel legend. He is so good. And then it is mostly a Yankees team other than that. But early on in ranked seasons, I'll be honest, I kind of anticipate just destroying people. So I don't know how many games we're going to get into this episode, but I am totally willing to... You know, basically throw in whoever you guys want. So let me know down in the comments section below. And let's go ahead, start our ranked seasons journey. And uh, hopefully tear through these lower difficulties and uh, lesser opponents. No offense, but I mean, if I lose, I'm going to be surprised. I only played 26 or 27 ranked seasons games last year. And I won all of them. So I don't really want to start with a loss this year. Especially not against Noah Syndergaard. I also just noticed I didn't change my batting order. Because I haven't played ranked seasons yet. Uh, so Derek Jeter's hitting like 6th. So we better like destroy this guy pretty quickly. And then move Derek Jeter to the leadoff spot. That is a mental error. And I know. Oh, funny error with Derek Jeter before the game even started. Fitting. Come on dude. Don't go there. Alright. It's off to a bad start. I'm using Kodai Senga. Trying to get the ghost fork rocking. And that was already hit to the gap for a double. Steven Kwan going to be the death of me today. And he's got his own Derek Jeter. Hopefully we can uh, pitch well enough here. I'm playing at basically a little league park where the elevation is on the moon. So the ball is going to fly here a little bit. If you pull the ball or even, you know, get jammed and shoot it away, you can hit some really, really bad home runs here, which I'm all for. Bail me out. I need it. We're off to a bad start. Is he really going to run on Judge? He's at like 95 arm. You're hosed. Get out of here. What are you doing making the last out at third? I forget what the boosts are. He might even have 99 arm. Moral of the story, bad idea to run. Syndergaard's got that hard sinker. Four seamer slider circle, uh, circle change and slurve. And we're up 1-0. I'm a little late on it. Get over the left fielder. Let's go, Mickey. I thought that was going to be a cheap home run. Just a little bit too late. And Mickey Mantle doesn't really have a ton of power against righties, unfortunately. And I'm a little under it as well. Yeah, this is a joke of a ballpark, and I will be playing here a lot. Also, I think on my first ranked seasons game, it's like veteran difficulty. So the pitches come in pretty unbelievably slow. And I don't really play on high difficulties. I play a lot of Battle Royale. As you guys might see on Twitch on All-Star. But it's just so slow. So I have to kind of dial everything back. So that I'm not super early on everything. So I'm kind of... I'm being late almost on purpose. Because I'm super out ahead of that one. Aaron Judge going to ground out to third. Uh, why am I chasing, dude? Alright, it was good things for him. It wasn't good things for me. You just get You get so antsy at the plate when things are coming in as slow as they are. And I really just want to score like 20 runs. And not quite doing that yet. How am I late on that? Is that going to sneak? 
<laughs> it really shouldn't have. That, that net should never go to the wall. I squared it up. I was trying to time it up perfectly. Uh, maybe I have to get the bat out a little bit uh, earlier than I think. Or than I thought. Because I was super late on that. Not super late, but that's a home run pitch. I squared it up and just could not time it up. Oh, no. Does he run on Mickey Mantle? He doesn't. He's learned his lesson. All right. So, allowed back-to-back -back not so great hits, unfortunately. Yeah, we said he had good timing on that. We'll give it to him. Or he'll take it, maybe, is a more apt description. We're going to let that go. Only one out in the inning. I don't think Aaron Judge would have got to that anyway. But that pretty much guarantees a run, I would say. I'm trying to guarantee zero runs. So, we're going to try and pitch out of this. A strikeout would be big. See if we can burn the fastball by him. We'll pop up. J-Ram, please get to that. Throw back to third. Oh, my goodness. I didn't time it up right, but I don't think we would have had him anyway. It's a big out, though. Foul ball. Go back to that slider. I really am just setting up to freeze him uh, with a fastball, but he's going to bail me out and swing. Derek Jeter coming on strong. Makes the play. I'm really not timing up these throws very well either. We got to lock in. First game of the day, sure, but we got to start playing a little bit better. Derek Jeter due up second in the inning. Let's put a base runner on for him. I'm just kind of behind on stuff. I think I have to speed up more than I thought initially, which I know I said. And we're going to go ahead and rip that one to right field. Unfortunately, right at the right fielder for a line out. Derek Jeter's number is pretty good for me. 667 batting average, 17 home runs. All, actually, I think all in battle royale. So all-star difficulty against the pitchers that you're going to see in BR, which aren't quite as good, so... The 667 could be a little bit misleading. Or it's not! And Derek Jeter goes deep to left center field! That one is out of here! Off the tree, we are on the board, courtesy of Derek Jeter, the player of the video, my favorite player of all time, and hopefully that opens the floodgates. He tried to go front door with a slider. Derek Jeter hammered it. It looked like that, uh... That commercial, yeah, I forget what it's for, but it's, hey, we need a clutch hit, Derek. And then some random guy named Derek stands up, and he's like, uh, Jeter. I forget, uh, Capital One, maybe? I don't know. I might censor that. I don't, no free advertisements. All right, come on, J-Ram. Tear into one. He's going to make a mistake. We're going to hit it out. There's the mistake, and there it it, it is out. <laughs> I can't speak. Don't worry about that. All right. A lot of it's back to back there. That's not English. J-Ram. If he plays, he's going to homer. Bomb from Jose Ramirez. Nolan Arenado. Nice hit to keep the inning alive. I'm not showing you my swing with Reggie Jackson. It was embarrassing, and no one needs to see that. It's going to be hidden forever. But we get a base hit with Nolan Arenado to bring up the top of the order, which is Mickey Mantle. Like, it's going to be a really awful home run, I think. Mickey, what a bomb. I just can't turn on the slider for some reason. Mickey Mantle with a cheapie to left. That's a, I mean, I'm, I know I'm late, but Mickey Mantle is just maybe a top five player in MLB history. So, it is what it is. Judge, get out of here, ball. Be late, be great. It's going to be off the base of the wall. 51 speed is not enough. We're going to dig for two anyway. Throw offline. Would have been close at second, but I think we would have been in there. Aaron Judge with a two-out double to bring up Sweet Lou. <sighs> I stayed on that one pretty good. We line out to end the inning, which I think is fair. I had some not-so-great hits. That one easily could have been a two-run home run with that contact or a gap shot or something, but that's just baseball. Reggie, lay out. I, dude, I'm trying to dive. Reggie's not about it. He's like, whatever, dude. Pay me more to dive. Brown ball at Gehrig to two. Jeter with the hose. Not even close. Double play turn. And we are just one out away. And ironically enough, we got to get out Derek Jeter. I might give him a fastball down the middle. Show how great Jeter is in this game. Hanging slider. Man, Jeter's so good, dude. Look at that. Wow. <laughs> And he's on the board, 4-1. Oh, I can't believe I made that mistake. 
And he's going to fly out to Judge here in shallow right center. Shift it over. I guess everything shallow right center here at the wall is shallow right center with, with uh, some of these dimensions down the line. But we're going to get going. Derek Jeter, I think, is due up third in this inning. I think he's my six hitter. So uh, we'll probably homer with Stanton and then, I don't know. We'll take it from there, I guess. All right, there's the homer with Stanton. Perfect, perfect, absolute bomb. 108 off the bat, off the building in left field. 495 for Stanton, nearly 500 feet. Did work out. Derek Jeter back up to the plate, though, after the home run in his first at bat. Still try, uh, trying to improve that average and that OPS, of course. So an extra base hit here would be very nice. See what you got for me. I'd love to hit a fastball. I got so out in front of that. I'm just antsy to hit. But Jeter's so good, he just finds a way. Through the third and short gap. Eric Jeter does have a lot of speed. I think this is the first time we've actually had a single in this game. So the threat of taking second could be real. Jeter's got some incredible speed. We're going to take off. Off-speed pitch. Jeter in there easily. Now, you might not want to do that depending on the clutch factor, the clutch rating of some of these players. If you didn't know, this year clutch has taken the place of contact with runners in scoring position. And by stealing second, we put Jeter in scoring position. I don't know how that affects J-Ram. I don't know his clutch rating off the top of my head. We should be able to see it somewhere, but can't locate it. I'm just trying to sit back on that. And I'm just sitting back on it too bad. I know sitting back on 101 sounds insane, but I, I've mentioned why that is in this video already. And we're just going to have to scoop that off the ground. Not going to send Jeter. I trust myself at the plate. Runners on the corners. One down for Nolan Arenado, maybe? No. It's Reggie Jackson. Oh, we'll go yard here. He's going to challenge me with a fastball down. He's been going fastball down. I've been taking it. I don't want to ground out. But if he throws a fastball down to Reggie, I'm going to scoop it out and hit a home run. Well, that's not a fastball down. That's a fastball up, and we turned and burned. Reggie Jackson down the right field line. Big time double for Reggie. We're going to move runners into scoring position here with still only one out for the supercharged Nolan Arenado. Could be a 9-1 game, and there it goes. Arenado, way out of here. That one, four uh, stories up, 480. 106 and a half off the bat. And a big time bomb to put us in position to put this one out of reach. Let's even see if he makes it that far. This might be a quit. And it is. All right, Jeter, you're in the leadoff spot. And here we go. Nice little Aaron Judge tier two boost in effect, plus the supercharged Arenado. But it's nice to see Jeter in our leadoff spot. His team doesn't certainly compare to ours. Has Derek Jeter as well, just not the 99. And, you know, we should be destroying every one of these guys. It shouldn't be a surprise. I should be doing this. I've got a better team than a lot of these guys. Even though it's easy to get good cards this year, I will say. But, um, I mean, Tyler Glasnow, I should destroy. It is a minute made, so it's going to be a little bit tougher to see the ball. We'll make do, hopefully. And that's just because I hate the batter's eye. You know, they actually may have darkened it a bit as opposed to years past. But it is still not my favorite. We're going to get on that one with Jeter, though. Unfortunately, here at Minute Maid, even though I'm a little bit underneath that. I mean, I mean, like, that, that should be. I should be that underneath it. Because, like, that's a home run swing. Good timing. Kind of a fly out to center field, unfortunately. 101 off the bat. Haven't really done that a lot with Derek Jeter this year, as most of them do that. Get out of the yard. Big time bomb from Lou Gehrig. We're up 1-0. Mickey Mantle, this one's got a shot down the right field line. If it's fair, it's gone, and it is. Mickey Mantle makes up for the Jeter line out. Early down the line, just stayed fair and just snuck out. And I'm, I need to stop swinging so much. Although, Giancarlo does sneak that one into the outfield. What am I doing? I don't know. I mean, that's a pitch I would usually like to crank. This guy just really hasn't gone to that too much. 
was not ready for it. He beat me with a fastball up and in on the black, and we only get two this inning. I hate playing at the MLB stadiums. That's why I always play at the minor league, fake minor league parks. It's just that the batter's eye uh, is usually way worse at the major league parks, and I don't think the ball flies as well. I mean, obviously, not compared to the park I play at. Nothing flies as well as that. It's like a, an aviation factory. Mm, that's not... Ah, I don't know. Whatever. It's like an airport. I, I could have said anything else. I was trying to think of like a place where birds go. <laughs> like, like an uh, avian something. I, whatever. Aviary? What is the word for it? It is an aviary. What a pull. Is it? I don't know if that's impressive or not. I surprised myself. Impressive to me. Which, at the end of the day, all you can ask for... J-Ram, deep to center field. Does it have enough? Please. It is off the top of the wall and gone. Just sneaking out. Perfect, perfect. 104 off the bat. And unfortunately here at Minute Maid, just sneaking out. Would prefer a bomb on that. Not going to lie. But I, I guess a home run's a home run. A little late there with Georgie. Trying to beat me with a fastball? Not really going to do that twice. Fortunately, Derek Jeter pulls it foul. It's ball two. He's had a pretty good debut. The line out in the first was not my favorite. But this one's headed for the right center field gap. That's classic quintessential Derek Jeter. 94 speed chugging around the bases. We're going to hold up at second with a double. Big hit for DJ, the captain. I don't know that I've ever called him DJ before. It, I didn't like it, honestly. Lou Gehrig, Apo Taco, and adios pelota, baby. Crawford boxes. Catching that one. Lou Gehrig is going to be a beast for me. And this one might be over here at 6 0. Friendly quit. You mean actual quit? I thought so. But that is where I'm going to leave it for this video, guys. Hopefully, you enjoyed it. I really do think that this Derek Jeter card, included bias, is the best card in MLB The Show 23. His combination of incredible attributes plus his quirks, which are very important. Homebody, night player, first pitch hitter, unfazed, dead red fighter, situational hitter, bad ball hitter, table setter. He is just the best card in the game for me. And not only do I really like using Jeter in the game, I just think he also plays incredibly well. Uh, we'll see him more in future videos. I recorded two more that were going to go in this episode. I don't want the video to be too long, though. So I'll see you in the next one. Hit that subscribe button if you like what you saw and are interested in more Reds franchise, maybe as early as tomorrow. And I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy.